Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash surviving infidelity, where we will see one hell of a character arc. Let's begin. I thought we built a perfect relationship, but my wife of 10 years out of the blue decided she wasn't in love anymore and wants to YOLO it. She is moving out next month. We have a three-year-old boy. Where to go from here? What am I overlooking? Posted by Reddit user Andres19. Background. We are in the US MCOL major East Coast city. We own a house and a car. Income is jointly 200,000 split more or less equally. Expenses are divided equally. Both have master's degrees. Political and ethical values are almost exactly aligned across all subjects. We have a normal social circle with regular interactions, weekly brunches, sports watching, game nights, etc. I am on great terms with her family. Her mother and brother visits three to four times a year and stay with us. My parents visit five to six times a year and stay with us as well. As far as I can tell she is on good terms with them as well. Both of our parents and relatives are extremely supportive and friendly. Life has been basically in easy mode for the last five years, which is ironically one of her complaints. We are just coasting. We are doing great financially, maxing out, and saving for our kids' education. We are both calm and rational. Fight frequency is around three times per year and manifests itself as us just taking time and space apart for a few days, and everything goes back to normal. There is no yelling, physical violence, or any discomfort. It's more of an I need some space to myself right now. Last month, my wife announced she is leaving next month. This came as a complete shock to me. At first I thought it was a joke, then an attempt to get me to do something, then the realization she was serious. I have attempted everything I can think of to find an avenue of moving forward together, but all has fallen on deaf ears. I offered counseling, taking time apart, seeing other people romantically, a period of focusing on treating each other with special care and affection, etc. Everything has been dismissed without any thought. Furthermore, I'm not getting a further explanation other than, I'm not in love anymore. Okay, now admittedly, the intensity of the romantic feelings has declined, but I thought this was just the natural cycle of being married. Intense romantic attraction over time transforms into something more stable with age. A form of love where companionship, friendship, non-physical affection take an increasingly more prominent role as the relationship ages, and I was okay with it. Until very recently, we still had a healthy sexual life, about 10 times per week. I find her attractive, and it came as a complete shock when she announced seemingly out of nowhere that she wasn't sexually attracted to me anymore. We had disagreements in the past about the sex frequency and settled on 2.5 hours per week whenever possible of sexy time devoted entirely to us. At some point, she started making jokes about how my sexual drive is supposed to slow down at this point and maybe I should find a younger woman to satisfy me. I thought this was just playful banter. It is my personal belief that a good relationship is based on the quality of the experiences people have together. Earlier in the relationship, we traveled all across the world, taking a month of vacation per year to exotic places. We ran marathons together, played video games together, cooked together, did yoga together, etc. The nature of our experiences together was always overwhelmingly positive. When we decided to have kids, we came to an agreement that we'd stay together no matter what until they were 18. This is part of the reason I feel betrayed now. I realize it's a stupid thing to agree to, but it made sense at the time. Since she got pregnant, everything changed, our relationship didn't just take second priority, it fell out of the top 10. Work, childcare, her personal hobbies, her extended family all of a sudden became more important. I was cognizant of this change and tried to implement special time for us alone together, but was met with lukewarm responses at best. She was dragging her feet on everything, making it seem that usual things, like attending a friend's wedding, was all of a sudden a great favor she was doing for everyone. I tried my best to suggest things for us to do together, but increasingly got rejected more and more. Fine, I thought this was just a phase. We'll tough it out and recapture the magic as our kid gets older. I should say that she has been acting depressed, not enjoying life, complaining about work more and more. One complaint she had since our child was born was lack of support in childcare. In the first two years, our child preferred the company of his mother, I thought this was normal and understandable. We tried multiple times for me to give him baths, get him dressed, but he would always start crying and ask for his mother. Since he turned three, he increasingly wants to spend time with me more and more. 
So while asking for more help, my wife refused offers from me to make school lunches, get him dressed for school, and walk him to school and back. I'm lost on how to proceed. Goal 1. Discover and work towards a future in which we stay together as a family. Goal 2. If goal 1 is not possible, work towards the best possible future for our kid. I would bet real money that this woman has been having an affair for a considerable amount of time now, and her affair partner is scrumming her that they will be together after she destroys her family. OP, she checked out long ago. Maybe it's new and out of the blue for you, but to her it was just another Tuesday. If you start to dig a little bit, I'm sure you'll find something. Good luck with that, but keep us updated though. And now for today's second story. One year anniversary of D-Day, my wife replaced me with a co-worker. Nearly 7 years marriage, together for over 10 years. Posted by Reddit user NDIrishLad69 Well, my wife of nearly 7 years told me 2 days ago she was seeing a guy and had been for about 8 months. I had my suspicions, especially recently, but I held her to a high moral standard and never thought she could be capable of doing something so hurtful and disrespectful. During this eight-month period, she and I had drinks and dinner with this guy, her co-worker, who conveniently had just got divorced and who I had considered a friend. So here we are having dinner, drinks, hanging out, and the whole time, my wife and him were putting on an act like everything was normal. I told her that as of that day, either he's dead to you or I am, and the crushing blow came. She said she wants to continue seeing him. She says she loves me and loves him. I asked how could she equate almost seven years of building a life, love and relationship to an eight-month affair. She couldn't answer that, but said she was sorry that she hurt me. I told her if she was truly sorry, she would have broken it off and turned her attention on us. I am stunned, pissed, embarrassed that I didn't see the signs, but most of all, I am sad and broken-hearted. I'm not going to beg to have her back, I have accepted my fate and will move on. If those of you who have gone through this have any advice, I appreciate it and thank you for taking time to read my story. Update 1. First I want to say thank you to all the love and support from this group. Sharing your experiences and advice has really helped. Short summary of my story, my wife had been having an affair for 8 months with a recently divorced co-worker. My wife and I had dinner, drinks, and hung out like we were all friends, and they acted completely normal the whole time. She said she wants to keep seeing him but still loves me. So here's what has transpired since that post, her whole family knows and they are not happy with her at all. They have all reached out to me giving support, and telling me they love me and I will always be family to them. Her sister is pissed off and doesn't even want to see her. She has claimed that after we divorce, she will not be anywhere near this guy nor bring her son around him. They have been really close as sisters, and her taking my side was huge. I have made myself unavailable and busy this whole weekend to her. I have set up a consultation with a lawyer for this Tuesday to start divorce proceedings. I had been looking into housing options, but I may try instead to buy her out and keep the house. Also, since she more than me, I will be filing for spousal support. I know it will be a rough road ahead and work to be done, but I'm feeling good about where things are going. I think some folks has asked whether we have kids, we don't, but we do have a dog who will be coming with me since I did all the work to raise and train her. So way less complicated, and no reason for her to contact me after the divorce is done. I couldn't have gotten through these first few days without all of you on here, for that I am eternally grateful. I plan to pay it forward by sharing my story in the future once I have healed and help others as you have helped me. Much love Survivor fam, I will update as things progress. Update 2 so for those of that have been following along, my wife confessed on May 23rd of having an 8 month long affair with her coworker. Even after confessing, she still professed her love for him and wanted to continue seeing him. So my response was to retain an attorney for $5,000 and file for divorce. I will also be nailing her ass for alimony payments as well. Strangely enough, right after I filed, she suddenly had an epiphany and came running back to me, wanting to make things better and work on our relationship. I told her I would think about it, but I wasn't sure. The only reason I gave her that response is because I want to keep her in good standing while I'm still processing this divorce, but let it be known that the divorce is happening. There's no going back, it's a final decision for me. She doesn't know that I filed for divorce, and I plan on keeping that way just so I can keep it amicable until we can get the house sold. But she's going to get served around September 1st and then, all hell is going to break loose, but it doesn't really matter to me. 
I've made my decision I plan to move on with my life, and I suggest anybody else who's been in the situation do the same. I will keep you posted as more progress happens. Update 3 So it has been a while since I've updated everyone, but I've made some really good progress. My soon-to-be ex-wife and I have come to financial division agreement. My lawyer has now sent us back to CR 2A Farm with all of our financial division agreements on it. Now we just need to sign it and send it back in, then it gets applied to the courts. Once I get the green light, either from the court or from my lawyer, I will begin putting up the house for sale. This has been a tiring process just because I've been trying to keep patient through all of this. But I've received a lot of support from you guys, from my family, from friends. It really helps me to make decisions and progress through where it needs to be. I feel better every day, and as more steps get taken care of, I bought LifeLock so all my finances, my credit report, and everything are all protected. I've even had a few dates along the line just to create a distraction, so that I'm not completely without social interaction. All in all I feel pretty good, no turning back on my decision, and for anyone who is considering the same path, take it from me, it's the best decision you'll ever make. I know it's not an easy one, but you have to stop and think about what's best for you, and what's best for you going forward in your life. I will try to send an update once the agreement has been signed and once we start moving forward with getting the house for sale. Thank you to everyone who's giving me the support on here and who's been following. I'm sorry it took a while to get the updates, but I wanted to hit a major benchmark before I did so. And now, for OP's update one year later. So a year has passed since my wife confessed to having an eight-month affair with her co-worker. She sat on the couch of our house and told me she loved him, that she wanted to continue seeing him. Well here is what took place in the last year. 1. Divorce had been finalized. 2. Sold the house and moved into my own place. 3. Met an amazing woman who went through a similar demise. 4. Most importantly, I moved on from my emotions surrounding my ex, and I'm in a much better state of mind. For those of you going through this now, take it from me, leaving really is the best option. There are conflicting emotions, and you still care about this person, believe me, I get it. You will be so much better in the long run and realize what you have been missing out on. One year ago, my life was in chaos and I was heartbroken, I felt worthless. Today I look back on that memory and I am proud of what I have accomplished, endured, and came out the other side with clarity and peace. I wish that for all of you out there grappling with this situation and decision, if you have any questions or need advice, I can help. Thank you for reading this and I hope this insight helps some of you. Wow, this was one hell of a character arc, OP. On your first post, when you said that you were gonna beg your ex-wife, I was already thinking that you are one of so many pathetic simps that has been featured here on my channel. But I am sincerely happy that I was wrong, that you are not one of them. You are in fact one of the true excellent examples of a man that has his shit together. A man that has a spine. Well done, my friend. May God bless you. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.